Come on.
Yeah. Mother of God, you look like I'm interested in your. Uh huh. And what do you want? Ah, uh, I'll certainly need a physician to treat my wounds. Then a hot bath and. A... As you wish. Fine. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. God bless.
God be with you, lad. I'd like to enroll in the big tour. All right. Of course. Here you are. I'll write your name down. And I need to know what weapon... Warhammer and shield. I know how to handle those. Good. Get yourself ready. You're next in line. God be with you. The first combatant will be Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Radzig Kobler, who will measure his skills against Jake the Stake, a brewery hand from Ratai. Welcome, our warriors. All is prepared for the first duel. The combatants will engage in a duel with warhammers and shields. Ugh! <sighs> 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 
for the second bout. Our combatants will demonstrate their skills with short sword and shield. victorious, they shall proceed to the next round of the Ratai Tournay. The first combatant will be Alder Fryer, a man at arms yeah. from St. Divis Hey, lad! Don't you want to Well, you're a sight for sore right eyes. Matthew and Fritz and their regards. They survived. My God, I'm glad. They helped me out a lot. And where did you see them? In Sassau. I bumped into them in front of the tavern. Where else? And how are they doing? They're doing fine. The monks brought them back to health. But they don't have work and they're in debt. You wouldn't happen to know of any jobs going for two lazy carpenters. Not here. And I think it will be the same in all of Ratai. It's overcrowded with refugees and they're all looking for work. Mm, that's bad. Those two need work badly to keep them out of mischief. You know what they're like. I do indeed. Try the mills and the smaller hamlets. The miller in the Dechko is old. Maybe he could use some strong hands. I will. Thanks. About that evening. Ah, yes. I never thanked you properly for helping me with the laundry. That storm would have carried hey, it off lad, to God knows where. Don't you want a little oh, I think you thanked me enough. Day, but next time we should take shelter somewhere else. That hasty gets into places it shouldn't, and itches like mad. Henry, you donkey. You really know how to sweet-talk a girl, don't you? And anyway, what do you mean by next time? 
Just what exactly do you have in mind for the two of us? How do you see things? Me? Hmm. Well, when you're not behaving like a total nincompoop, I kind of like being with you. I behave like a nincompoop? Yes, like now, answering a question with another question. How do you see it with us, Henry? If I really must say it, I... I like you very much. And you saved my life in Scalitz. And you saved mine. So we're even. Well, we'll be together. Like a couple. And when the time comes, you'll take me as your husband, right? <laughs> You're full of yourself, aren't you? But that's not how things are done. Well, obviously... Under normal circumstances, I'd ask your pa for your hand, but... Papa? Yes. He'd set the dogs on you. Now you'd have to get Uncle Peshek's blessing. I reckon I'd have no better luck with him, unless he saw a way to profit from it. And I'd have a sack of flour for my dowry. But seriously, Henry, what kind of husband would you make? You can't sit still in one place for an hour at a time. Well, I've got a lot of duties, but... I'm very fond of you, you know. And maybe one day you... I know, you silly sod. We can't get married yet. But we can still see each other and be fond of each other. Wouldn't you like to take a stroll somewhere? I'd love to. I love it here by the water. But how come you've been so quiet the whole time? What's on your mind? You're on my mind. Oh? <laughs> in what way? Oh, you know. How pretty you look in that. Ah. You think I look pretty, do you? Yeah. Especially when... when you laugh. I was afraid you'd say, especially when you've no clothes on. <laughs> well, now that you mention it... Come here, you charmer. The time passes so quickly with you, Henry. Come and see me again sometime. Ow! Watch where you're going, you lout. You nearly killed me. Yeah!
Yeah. About the executions. Is it done? Can I let them get on with the executions now? Yes. Now all we have to do is go and enjoy the show. I need help with a wounded man from Sasau. Oh? Aye. What's his problem then? Do you know anything about broken bones? <sighs> no, Henry. If you want to rough someone up, then you can go elsewhere. I'm an executioner, not a thug. No, no, it's not that. The exact opposite, actually. There's a man in Sasau with a badly broken leg. They tried to straighten it, but now he's unconscious and he just keeps getting weaker. Hmm. And the monks won't touch him? Yeah, that's right. They say it's in God's hands. True enough. But it doesn't mean we can't help him, too. Where's the leg broken? Above the ankle. All right, listen. They won't let me in to see him, but it's not all that hard to deal with. There are two bones there, most likely both broken. One of them probably didn't set, or it set badly. You can find both of them by feeling for them. If he's lost weight, it'll be all the easier. You have to find the place where the break is and get the two parts together. But the pain will be agonizing. He'll scream like a wounded beast and flail around all over the place. You'll have to get some strong fellows to hold him down so he doesn't do himself a worse injury. Don't be afraid to dig your fingers right into the flesh. And don't let the screaming put you off. Oof. All right. Hopefully I'll be able to do it. <laughs> you will. Good luck, Hal. <laughs> Redeemed me by his precious blood, have mercy on me and lead me to eternal glory. Amen.
That was a fiasco. Did you see it? It's a pity not everything went wrong, though. It would have been even better if it was a total disaster. Good job, though, Henry. He won't be showing his face around here again soon. And, of course, you've earned a reward. Hey, lad, don't you want a little wager on the Rattay Tawny?
I'm honored that you should come to me. Farewell. Good health to you. Teresa, the mill maid, sent me. She said you could use some help. Some extra pairs of hands would be useful. What do you have in mind? My friends, two survivors of Scalitz, are looking for work. And why should I take them? They're experienced carpenters. Well, why not? Carpenters would be helpful. There's a lot of work here at the mill, and I'm not as spry as I used to be. Thomas, my foreman, tries his best, but he ain't up to that kind of work. But they aren't idlers and drunks, are they? I only take in people who are willing to do hard, honest work. I'm from Scalitz, and I know them both personally. They worked in the royal mines, and their master couldn't praise them highly enough. In the Scalitz mines? That's skillful work. I'll be glad to talk to them. Tell them I'll give them a chance. We'll talk about pay and a roof over their heads when they get here. God be with you. I'm back with the incense. Can we begin? Good. Let's go to the cross in the bedroom. Well, what are you waiting for? Uh, I feel a bit out of my depth. This is my first time. <laughs> now you tell me. Well, get started. You've got the flowers, so it has to work. <clears throat> well, here goes. Pater noster quiest incarnis sanctificator omen tuum. Are you sure you're saying that right? Shh. You mustn't be interrupted. In nominate parties et filius et spirits et cetera. In the name of Jesus Christ, leave and never return. In the name of the Holy Spirit, may you find peace in the kingdom of God in the highest. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O oh Lord, may he rest in eternal peace and may eternal light guide his way. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God preserve you, good night. Can I do something for you? Good luck then. Thank you. Please God I can finally sleep in peace at night. Come by tomorrow to see if it worked. Good. Yeah. 